good meditation I would say it was almost like a math formula it was dispassion discernment equals um, space equals peace and happiness beautiful that's a very good expression you see that, oh, that is why we, yeah that is why we share our experiences so it is not that only this guy can reveal the knowledge everyone can reveal this that is the point. So we find, no, 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 we cannot do that. No, it is not so. How are you, Jerry? Sir, I'm good. Um, the meditation was a, a mantra for me of, of um, I hold the mind. The mind doesn't hold me. So yes. the mind is my instrument. I'm not the mind's instrument. Beautiful. That is another way to explain the same thing i am holding the mind so mind where are you going are you going for an attachment i know go so when in that field of awareness when you say okay you are going for an attachment go mind stops how are you stephen and sam <laughs> Uh, I'm good, thank you. Um, my meditation was filled with um, uh, peace, uh, a quiet space, um, an expansive space, um, but it wasn't just, you know, nothingness. I, I recognized um, a lot of visions um, coming into, into my space and yeah. was just um an in, i was able to recognize them entering into the space and just letting them go if if you asked me what were the visions i wouldn't even be able to tell you what they were i just know that they were there ah that is another way to explain it it is wonderful you live into that space means that sense of attachment is not returning and taking hold of us good how are you sam wonderful uh good um it was very very quiet and peaceful and i can't really think of any thoughts that i thought of and that was it beautiful i cannot think of any thought you know because there is no object in the mind or if, even if there is an object, there is no sense of attachment. Good. How are you, Brandy? I'm good, thank you. Um, it was useful for me during the meditation when you said simultaneous awareness because I the word that was in my mind was interplay. 
you know, I was like, cause I'm still sick. So I was, my body was kind of tugging at me, but I kept shifting my mind back into the space. And then there like other things going on around. And so I had that, I did have that simultaneous awareness of a lot of things, but like Jerry said, I just kept, you know, my mind wasn't in control. It was, I just shift it back, shift it back. So right. it was another bit super busy non-practice for me. I, those, that seems so busy. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, mind is busy or remain busy. I'm not the mind, finished. So you see the simultaneous awareness works all the time. I'm talking to you, but I'm aware of everyone. Do you see that? I'm aware of everyone. Action is focused. Mind with reference to the body, breath, mind, intellect, and particular activity. But that awareness is still there. How are you, Vaibha? Then we'll come to Terry. Sir, it was good. Uh, very quiet and peaceful. It's like uh, the way I see the separation. Once I see the separation, the thought goes away and it becomes quiet. Yes, you're right. The moment in the knowledge, I don't physically separate. The moment I see it is already separate. The mind due to the attachment and delusion made it together. So there is a glue which is known as attachment, but that does not exist. It exists in delusion. It does not exist in knowledge. Beautiful. How are you, Terry? Ma, um, I, there yes. were mil of, of millions of birds in this space. Good. <laughs> Good. Uh, they, the, my, the body was trying to you know, it wouldn't let go of, it was fighting me. It's, it, it's trying not to let me meditate. So it was let throwing me. millions of birds at me. Yes. Not million. birds, but everything. I was simultaneously aware. And at one point you began saying things that were exactly what was happening to me. Good. Like, uh, you know, everything was separate. I knew this is, uh, my hands were like this. This is the sense organ of touch. This yeah. is the lights inside my eyes. This is the sound from outside the building. All these things were separate. I like but it. the closer I got to um, <laughs> having them all disappear and let me meditate, the world just kept trying to drag me back in by throwing more and more and more and more. Uh, in the space, there was a lot of melting. Yeah, you know, yeah. the visual yeah. stuff. Harry, um, even your body is a big bird. It's trying to... Yeah, <laughs> but I felt separation between it separate. and me. That is wonderful. That is good. How are you, Ashok? Uh, good, sir. Peaceful and quiet. Thank you. Peaceful and quiet. You see, that's a beautiful way. And if we live into that state all the time, is it possible? Yes, it is 100% possible. 100%. And that unfolds, that reveals. So knowledge, ultimately, the knowledge is the only way. If I'm a non-seeker, I have to do a lot of steps and practices, action, in order to become a seeker. Once I become the highest level of the seeker, then it is the knowledge only. That is all for today. Thank you very much. Namaste, sir. Namaste, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Namaste. 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 Namaste.